Sergeant, old boy, we'll be at the end of our trip now in a few more miles. Suppose you'll be glad to put your feed bag on, won't you? Huh? Huh? <laughs> All right. Here comes Markham now. I'm going to give him one more chance to sell. Howdy, Colin. Markham, now listen. I want that Oak Pass strip of yours bad enough to jump my previous offer a thousand dollars. You can keep raising from now on till doomsday. Oak Pass ain't for sale. But you don't need that land. Oh, yes, I do. I need it so I close the pass when coyotes like Jim Mitchell drives his cattle through and stampedes them and ruins the valley farmland. No use arguing. I ain't selling. Markham, you're a fool. Always let him use the pass for his drives. Can you figure, Gopher, why he's so set on owning it? Probably because you said no. He always likes to have his own way. Got him. Let's move, Joe. Stopping him, mister. That's all right. They got him, didn't they? Yeah, I think he's hurt pretty bad. Where's the nearest doctor? Town, but he'll never make it back over them roads. I'll be quicker than bringing the doc here. Them shots come from the rocks over there. You go ahead. I'll catch up with you.
Mr. Markham's been shot. Shot? When? Where? Near Lookout Rock. Well, where is he now? Doc Wilson's office. He died coming in. Markham, dead. Well, it don't seem possible. He didn't have an enemy in this world. Only his murderer. Did you see who fired the shot? Didn't you even look, Gopher? Well, the shot scared the horses and they ran away. And uh, this here hombre stopped them and rode in with us. Well, I thought the shooting irons had rest after Mitchell was killed. You talking about Jim Mitchell? Yeah. Is he a friend of yours? I'm Ken Mitchell. Jim was my uncle. Ah, uh, Mitchell, huh? You killed Markham. Here, Sheriff, you can put my guns over. We have reasons to be suspicious of the Mitchells around here, stranger. I don't intend to be a stranger long, Sheriff. You're going to homestead here? Not exactly. Come down and take over my uncle's ranch. You're taking it over? Yes, he left it to me in his will. A will? You must be mistaken. Who are you? Your uncle will hear me his ranch. This is Mr. Collins. We better take a look at this paper, Sheriff. Dear Ken, it looks like trouble's coming my way. If anything happens to me, you take over. The enclosed will leaves you my ranch and all of my farm mortgages. Well, that's Mitchell's handwriting, all right. What was the date on your will, Mr. Collins? May 14th. Well, this is dated May the 22nd. Mitchell cheated me. I'll fight this out in court. Do all the fighting you want. But watch your talking, especially when it's about my uncle. Well, I guess maybe I did speak a little too quickly. Your uncle must have changed his mind. Just forget it. Suits me. I'll ride along with you, Collins. Somebody has to tell Aunt Markham about her dad's death. Uh, never mind. I'll stop by on my way home. Poor Ann, this is going to hit her awful hard. I'll do all that I can to help her. Yes, he will. Such as taking old pants off of her hands. How does he come to have a will from Uncle Jim? Well, your uncle was obligated to him. He was the most respected man in our community. Seems to be some difference in opinion about Mr. Collins. Hey, Burton. Hello, Mr. Collins. Somebody got Markham. Kill him? Yeah. Who done it? I don't know. But it's funny the way Jim Mitchell's nephew showed up right after. Jim Mitchell's nephew? Yeah. Where is he now? In with the sheriff. I'll take care of him. A room for Jim Mitchell's nephew in this valley. There. I'll put up that gun. Not till I know what this is all about. Well, I, I reckon that's reasonable. The whole county hated your uncle. But nobody hated him any more than Burton there. Why? Your uncle was one of the mountain cattlemen that needed the valley for grazing. He wanted to buy Burton's farm. That's no cause for hating. Well, when Burton and the farmers refused to sell, your uncle stampeded a herd of cattle over their farms and ruined the crops. Why didn't they sue him for damages? I did. But the court believed him when he said he couldn't help it. I still don't see why everybody hated him. And that ain't all he done. Then when he had us all broke, he gave a sneaking agent money to loan us farmers. And when we couldn't pay it back, Mitchell started foreclosing. Right poison, that's what the breed is. I can hardly believe it. I know I'll never collect on any mortgages Uncle Jim got that way. We want charity from no Mitchell. And don't forget this. We're hanging Markham's murderer when we get him. Looks like I kind of walked in on something, Sheriff. Yeah. What's the rest of the story? Well, after your uncle ruined all the farmers, why, Markham closed the pass. So Mitchell couldn't graze his cattle on the range. We looked for a cattle war, but somehow or other, somebody killed your uncle. No wonder they think I killed Markham. Well, 
Most folks think you're here to take up where your uncle left off. I guess it's up to me to change their mind. I'm sorry about your father, Miss Markham. But you must realize that running a ranch is no job for a girl alone. What do you mean alone? She's got me, ain't she? You know, it takes money to hire hands for ranch work. I'll manage someone, Mr. Collins. Dad would want me to stay and protect the farmers. I'm sorry. I can't accept your offer to buy the place. Well, if you change your mind, be sure to let me know. And uh, watch out for young Mitchell. I'll manage him, too. Thanks, Mr. Collins. Good day. I guess you was having a nightmare. Oh, it's you, huh? Well, what do you want here? I thought maybe Miss Markham could use a mite of help. Guess Collins threw my cattle up in the mountain range. Over. Uh, Miss Markham, this is Mr. Mitchell. How do you do? My father only had one enemy, and his name was Mitchell. Get out of here. That's a fine welcome. But my offer still goes. You know where to find me. Dad, uh, wait, Mitchell, wait. Uh, I like the way you took that. And I like the way you stood up to Collins in the sheriff's office. And I'm one who is satisfied that you didn't shoot Dad Markham. Well, thanks, old-timer. I could sure use a friend. Especially if I'm going to help the farmers get back on their feet. That'll be a man-sized job of getting them to take anything from a Mitchell. Yeah, I got to do it without them knowing it. Uncle Jim wasn't a smart hombre. I figured he was taking orders from somebody else. Anybody been missing any cattle around here? Well, if they have, they ain't said nothing about it. My uncle's paper shows he was shipping more cattle than he owned. Then somebody must have been a shipping their herds under his brand. Yeah. Same cattle that ruined the farms. I'm thinking that man fired the shot that killed Uncle Jim. He was in the way as soon as he marries most of the farms. I get it. What do you aim to do? Two things, old-timer. One of them is catch Jim Mitchell's killer. I figure the same outfit killed Markham. So long.
Somebody's coming. Picked up my trail at the rock. I wonder what he's after. I'll get rid of him quick. your guns. Sure appreciates your hospitality. No. I'll take it easy. You think you're smart, don't you? All us Mitchells do. Mitchell? Relation to Jim? Jim Mitchell is my uncle. I'm Ken Mitchell. What are you doing around here? Tracing a 3220 rifle. I'd like to shake hands with the man that killed Markham. 3220s do a nice, neat job. Oh, yeah? The Mitchells are awful smart. Think I don't know the crack of a 3220 when I hear it? I'll say you don't. I used a 3030. Thanks for admitting it. Don't get too wise, Mitchell. It don't pay. No? I figure that Markham and the farmers killed Uncle Jim. That leaves me playing your hand. I own the mortgages. You want the Valley Farms. We ought to make good partners. I uh, reckon our house would be a better place to talk. Yeah. Pick them up, boys. <laughs> I'm boss around here, Mitchell. Oh, no, you're not. Whoever's run this outfit's got brains. That lets you out. <laughs> well, uh, maybe you come up to give the orders. No, just to make a deal with your boss. Go ahead. I'm him. Well, as I told you before, I own the mortgages on half the Valley Farms. Now, if it's fixed so the farmers can't pay, I'd have to foreclose. Get it? Be here at 10 o'clock tonight. I'll see if you mean business. Fine. Ten o'clock. Mitchell break the farmers. 
But this time I'll get mine without waiting for a will. Jim must have smelled what you had in store for him and made out another will to get even with you. Well, it's too bad he won't be around to hear me laugh last. Suppose when young Mitchell gets the farms, he hangs on to them. Uh, I'll fix that. He'll sell to me. Then we'll uh, find a way to get rid of Mitchell. It's him. Well, I don't want him to see me. Now remember what I told you about that Markham girl. Make it plenty tough for her so she'll be ready to sell fast. We've got to get control of the pass. Then we'll take care of Mitchell. Oh, I thought I was going to meet your boss. Why ain't he here? He couldn't make it. But I talked to him, and we're going to let you play a couple of hands with us, Mitchell. Sit down. All right. Now, uh, you help us run Ann Markham off her ranch, and we'll help you fix the farmers. Sounds good. What are your plans? She's got no money or hands. If things get bad enough, she'll sell out. So, first thing, her herd's gonna stray. Tonight. And what if it don't? Then we'll try something else. Say, your boss don't seem to be overburdened with brains either. I ain't gonna make that girl run. You're not giving the orders, you're taking them. Say, I rode by the Markham ranch today. A thousand head of cattle there on the home ranch. Only one water tank. Hey, that's an idea. We'll dynamite it. And get caught? Nah, it's too risky. But suppose all the water run out of that tank. Then the carburetor for the water pump turned up missing. Now, wouldn't that be too bad? Come on, Mitchell. Them cattle's gonna get awful thirsty before she can get a new carburetor. Mitchell did it. He wants my cattle to die of thirst. Dad didn't leave me enough money to fight much of this kind of dirty work. Well, now, you can't be sure. To my mind, he ain't nothing like his uncle. He brought trouble back to this valley. Get the horses. I'm going to the sheriff. It may take days to get another carburetor if we can't find one in town. But, Miss Ann... Tell Clayton I want my money tomorrow. Clayton's got no money. His wife's been sick. That's his tough luck. Parker, that's my mortgage on Clayton's farm. I want my money by 12 tomorrow, and I'm foreclosing. Clayton's got kids, Mitchell. I can't turn him out. You're the sheriff. Don't go, boys. Mr. Mitchell is just leaving. I know my job, even if it is doing other people's dirty work. Yes, Are you over. fixing to foreclose on Tim Clayton? Kind of looks that way. Then you're a dirtier skunk than your uncle was. We have decided to work. I wish I was a few years younger. I'd take your hide off. I was a few years older, you could have it. Yeah.
The Phantom Rancher? You're drunk, Luke. Clayton swears it. Nobody around these parts is crazy enough to throw money away. Maybe not, but Mitchell's paid. Well, we'll stop this, uh, this ghost before he makes such stunts a habit. I'll never be able to get control of the valley from the farmers. See if Mitchell has an idea. I don't like that, Umbre. Like Mitchell until I get through with him. On your feet. Keep your hands up. Over to that fireplace. Line up with your back to me. Hurry it up. Got the carburetor. Oh, you'll never catch him now. No? Well, I know where to find him. It's Mitchell. Don't be a fool. Stealing the carburetor was Mitchell's idea. Who else knew we had it? Somebody's on to us. We'll have to work fast to get the Markham place now. What'll we do? It takes money to fix broken fences, and cattle stray through them. All right, boys, get going. Look, the carburetor. The Phantom Rancher. Now will you believe me? I even believe in miracles. Let's get busy. Only two to go, it won't be long. Nice of you to work on my fence, Mr. Mitchell. Why, hello. A few more minutes, I'd have had it done. You've done plenty. Lucky I discovered you before the herd strayed this way. But I really was trying to fix it, Mom. I was just riding along the road. Yes, and you saw a chance to pull one of your uncle's dirty tricks. Well, you can just keep right on riding. Well, all right if you feel that way about it. No, you look right pretty when you're mad, Mom.
Something wrong, Miss Ann? I just caught Mitchell cutting my wire. He said he was just going to fix it. Well, maybe I'm loco, but to my mind, he probably meant just that. Come on. We've got to get some new wire right away. Well, did it work? Yeah, somehow she found the fence was cut before the herd did. And Gophers got it fixed. Well, I told you to wait until almost morning. All right. I tell you what we'll do. Now, tonight, Hank, you and Joe go to the Markham Barns. And when you get there, there'll be something left for you to do that'll... Yeah, same there. We'll fix that. Come on. you coyote. Get him up. Get him up. That gum you just got you in time. So you was going to burn us out, was you? Well, the sheriff will have something to say about that. Rightly say, miss. You see, uh, one of them hit me over the head with his gun. And when I get hit hard, I'm so mad I can't remember. Well, that's right. And if you'll give me a hand now, we'll get them to the sheriff. <laughs> Come on, you. Eighty days. Only ten more to go. The Phantom left the money at Widow Jenkins last night, and she paid Mitchell off today. Coyote. And if the Phantom Rancher hadn't put good meal in place of what was poisoned, I'd have lost all my cash. You saved 
Cogswell's place last night. Isn't he wonderful? I wish I knew who he was. I'd like to thank him. Yeah. Solid months. You've left a half-baked desert Robin Hood keep us out of the best grazing land in the state. You can't tell me Ken Mitchell ain't at the bottom of this. Oh, sure. I suppose he throws money to people to pay himself off with. If it wasn't for the Phantom, Mitchell had owned half the valley. Yeah, well, I'd like to see him owning six feet of it. Permanent like. You let Mitchell alone. I've got other plans for him. The farmers may have paid off, but they're still broke. And if we stampede 3,000 head of cattle over their lands, they'd be ready to sell out to me quick. We'll swing if they catch us. Not if they're wearing Mitchell's brand. Besides, I've got a buyer waiting across the border who'll buy them no matter whose brand they wear. But the Markham girl, what about her? You're poisoning her water supply tonight. I'll keep her and go for busy while you're doing it. I got you covered. Let him go, Mr. Collins. He's no outlaw. Oh, but you don't understand. A masked rider can be a very dangerous menace in a law-abiding community. Drop that mask. Yeah. And Collins after him. Did you find anything? Uh, the only snake tracks there belong to Collins. That's the first time I ever blessed a rattler. Me too. I got a good idea where the critter's nest. Come sun up, I aim to smoke him out.
Play lame. Play lame. Morning, Collins. Morning, boys. You're up kind of early, ain't you? Well, if I aim to see the sunrise, I ain't. Did you see anybody go by? I hadn't noticed. Who are you looking for? The Phantom Rancher. We've been chasing him all night. Ah, uh, he's too smart to come this way. I'd help you track him down, but my horse has been lame for a couple of days. Hey, boss. Boss of his is a boss of mine. What are you getting at? You want to stop the Phantom from paying them mortgages or you wouldn't be chasing him. That first day in the sheriff's office, you said Uncle Jim cheated you. I thought you knew him real well, like these boys. I never was too friendly with him myself. Well, you're in too deep to do anything now, anyhow. I saved your uncle from a posse in Texas that was fixing to swing him for a murder. You may as well know now that he was working for me. And my money paid for those mortgages. Let's lay the cards on the table, Collins. I'm not crazy about ranching. I got some mortgages you could use. I want money. Lots of it. Oh, well, what's your idea? Stampede a herd of cattle over the valley? Force the farmers to sell out to you cheap. It's a deal. I know a man in Arizona that has a herd of over 5,000 head. You want me to see him? If it's the herd I want, I'll send you all the cash you need. Suits me. I'll drop by the house on my way out. Mighty near catching you last night. Was he looking for me? Rattlesnakes leave tracks. There weren't none last night, and there weren't none under my chair that time you come a calling. <laughs> well, I'll declare it's a toy. Just wait till Miss Ann finds out who the Phantom Rancher is. But say, wait a minute. If you're him, who's it doing the skullduggery? Collins. I figured it out for months. I'm ready now to drive him out in the open and try to prove things on him. If he finds out I'm on to him, he'll try to get rid of me like he did Uncle Jim. But why was you so tough on the farmers? They wouldn't accept charity from me. And I want them to have their farms. So I become a phantom. You know, I always did suspect him. But Miss Ann thinks he's her friend. Uh, Collins are Markham kill. I'm sure some of his men murdered Uncle Jim after he'd finished Collins' dirty work. Then Collins has been running cattle over the fences under Jim's brand. He was behind him all the time. Yes. I had to work in with the gang to be sure that Collins was back of it. He wants the valley lands for grazing his herds. He figured I'd sell out cheap soon as I foreclosed. And you've been giving the farmers cash to fool them. Yeah, I've used that roll so much I almost wore it out. <laughs> Mitchell knows too much. Why can't I plug him like I did his uncle? <laughs> the farmers will do that after he gets back. As soon as he leaves, we're putting his brand on my cattle and stampeding them over the valley. In order to get rid of him, I'm giving him the money to go to Arizona. All right, but what about this phantom? I'll take care of that spook rider after I've taken care of Mitchell. Mama 
away, Collins. Where's the money? Here's some of it. Let me know how much more you need, and I'll send it along pronto. Suits me. You better ride fast, or there won't be any mortgages left. Yeah, that phantom's sure been a lot of help to me. Wonder how you stop a stampede. Well, so long, boys. See you soon. Not too soon, I hope. Well, did you see him? Yes. I got some money and an idea. You did? If Collins put Uncle Jim's brand on his cattle, what's to keep him from putting my brand on the ones he's got now while I'm away? Well, that'd make the farmers blame you. Yeah. Get your horse while I make a change. We're going to ride over and see Collins about daybreak. Looks like your idea was right. A nice looking herd. Lucky he didn't start his drive before we found this hideaway. You wanted to be sure I was in Arizona. Come on, come on, hurry it up. I've got a fire waiting for this herd across the border. Ten to one, that's my brand he's using. I wouldn't be surprised. He got away with using Uncle Jim as a blind. It's different now. Well, how we stop him? We can't alone. You ride for the sheriff, Cooper. Well, the sheriff ain't apt to believe bad about Collins. Tell him I'm driving through. That'll bring him. He'll know it's Collins when he sees him. I'll be waiting up at my house until they start. Now, remember to stampede them when they pass Markham's ranch. The boys are waiting on the other side of the farms to stop them there. We'll be moving in two hours. Miss Ann, the herds are making up a little valley to drive through Oak Pass. I'm going for the sheriff. What's the trouble? Mitchell's making up a herd to drive through Oak Pass. Not while I'm sheriff. Who's herd into this? You're changing the brand. This is Ken Mitchell's brand. Just fuming Mr. Collins' cattle. You say too much. We'll take it to Collins. Get rid of that brand, kick out the fire, and follow me. Come on.
Donald is getting ready to drive a herd through the valley. We've got to stop him. Colin? You mean Mitchell? Come on. for the sheriff. I'll cover you and try to turn him. Colin. Well, now you know which farms I want. See that the cattle stampedes over them. The Markham girl saw switching brands. I was bringing her here when the Phantom jumped me. Well, where are they now? I don't know. But I do know she thinks we're working for Mitchell. Good. We'll pin this on him yet. I'm going back to my ranch. And when Mitchell comes back from Arizona, I'll say that I saw him switching the brand. Who's that? Funny Mitchell cleared up. Looks like he knew we were coming. Sure does. I can't figure it. It's Miss Ann. Hurry. Colin, I thought you said it was Mitchell. Well, I figured you wouldn't waste any time of arguing if you thought it was Mitchell. We haven't time to talk. The Phantom's covering the gang until we get there. Well, let's go. You lead. Come 
up. How you doing, Collins? On your way. You're going back. Come on. All right, bring him down here. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. That's one way of bringing him in. <laughs> <laughs> This explains a lot of things, Colin. You've been pretty clever. Miss Ann tells me that you've been putting Mitchell's brand on your herd. That's a lie. These men work for Mitchell. They held me prisoner and then put Mitchell's brand on my cattle. You got us into this and we're not going to jail without you. I'm telling everything. You gonna take this cutthroat's word against mine? Why don't you get Mitchell? He's the man you want. Yeah, where is he? Well, he pulled out the minute Luke brought word that you were coming. Well... Mitchell. Yes, Mitchell. Now maybe you'll believe me. Now that the Phantom Rancher is no more, perhaps we'll have some peace and quiet. Uh -oh. Not as long as you keep Gopher around here, you won't. Uh -oh. 